Wits, uh, a 2 0 victory against Peterborough Sports today. It wasn't the most uh, glamorous of games or the most uh, interesting of games, but we managed to, to grind out the three points in the end, and uh, it's a big, big win today. Yeah, I mean, the last two games, Kettering and here, you know, we weren't, wasn't going to be the, the prettiest. Um, you know, we, we don't make excuses. We know the pitches were bad. We had to adapt and play and play to what, what the circumstances were, and we've done that. Um, I thought we were unfortunate not to get a win at Kettering. I thought we had the chances, but, you know, with a win here today, that becomes a very good point. Obviously, the first half wasn't the best. It was mainly up in the air a lot of times and there wasn't really too many opportunities. What do you think changed in that second half to really give us that, that advantage and eventually get the two goals? Um, I just think believing in what we were doing. I, it, it wasn't the game for, for pretty football. Like It was never going to be that, that sort of day. Um, so we know we had to play a different way, um, find a different way to win, which we're looking like we can show this year. And, you know, when we've got to make it ugly, we can make it ugly. Um, and thankfully the big man's popped up with two um, you know, to put it to bed, but I'd probably say we had the chances to win the game and, and we deserved the three points in the end. One of the turning points obviously was a mistake at the back uh, in the middle of the second half and you managed to clear one off the line and then there's a, a huge save from Chris Neal as well. What are your, your sort of viewpoints from, from both of those chances for the I hosts? mean, Neal, for someone who doesn't have a lot of interactions in the games at times, you know, the last few games is three clean sheets, he hasn't had a lot to do, but when he's there and he, you know, he's needed, he, he never switches off. You know, he pulls off a save like that, and it totally changes the outlook of the game. Um, you know, so that's a testament to him to how hard he works every day with Crofty. Um, you know, like I say, when you've got him behind you and, and reliable, should they get one chance, you know, it, it really helps us out as defenders. Um, and yeah, the you know the clearance was you know you take no chances. It looked like it looked a bit dodgy, so just start sprinting back towards your own goal. <laughs> And thankfully, you know, I managed to get there. Um, but like I say, I think other than that, there wasn't really much else in terms of our box. Um, don't recall many balls coming in the box. Don't recall many corners. So you know, for all we've had to sit and make two important um, saves and a challenge. Um, that's all they had, really. Obviously, this last seven days has been a, a, cru a crucial part of the season as well. Three of the longest trips, nearly a thousand miles, been covered by yourselves and, and the fans as well. And it was it was great to see the, the scenes at full time as well, really embracing with the, the travelling fans as well. It's brilliant. It's been brilliant. Like I say, Kettering away on a Tuesday night and, and Peterborough away. I mean, this is a, a European game. It's it's so far away. Um, but you know, testament to them, they've, they've come and thankfully they've been fortunate enough to, to see a win. Um, like I say, in, in times gone by, that game usually finishes nil nil. Um, you know, and we come away disappointed, but you know we're able to uh, to kick on and find a way to win now. I've said that the three away games now. We've got three games at home at Mill Farm, starting against uh, Hereford on Tuesday, which is going to bring up its own challenges in that one. Yeah, yeah, back at home. Um, you know, different challenge, like I say, different type of game. Um, we have to adapt and, and find a way to win that one as best we can. Um, you know, it's going to be a it's a tough month. We've got I think seven Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesdays in a row now. So lifestyle's key, you know, the training's key, and the depth of the squad's key. It's, you know, we're going to need everybody. Um, there's going to be injuries. There's going to be, you know, people needing rest. Um, but you know, we've shown again today people like Sia that can come on and, and affect the game. We had Harry Davis on Tuesday night. Who hasn't played for a while. Come in and, and deliver the performance that he did. You know, we've got that squad available there to be able to drop in when we need. Um, so, you know, we welcome the games, um, and we know whoever goes out there can do the best to win the game.